Johnny Stapleton here for IrishBoxing.com with Graham McCormack. Uh, just as a senior spar of Vlad there, just watching the spar, uh, well, big bad Vlad, a question popped in my head. I was just thinking, you, when you're talking to him a little bit, is that just a bit of crack or are you trying to get something out of him that you want from the spar or is it just... Me and him are mad bastards, we just slag each other when we're in the ring. If he misses us, I get him, miss, he slags me. It's just the way we go. But so it's just a bit of crack, it's nothing to, practical you want out of the spar. just try to take each other <laughs> <laughs> this is him, man. You know I mean? so, yeah, just a bit of crack between him, you know what I mean? But it's, it's hard work in there, you know what I mean? Very, very, very hard work. So, enjoy him and spam with him, you know what I mean? I mean, obviously, his physical presence, he bangs, it is, it's good work for you, isn't it? big guy, look. I mean, hit hard, good spam. You know what I mean? So you can't ask about sparring, you know what I mean? And then just the reason we're down is that the the fight with with, with Gettins, like it's a it's a great fight, a great Here fight. is Gettins. Yeah. <laughs> did I just use that line? <laughs> yes, I did. But it is it like what just just thoughts on that opportunity? Massive, massive opportunity, man. Massive chance, massive chance for a big fight. You know what I mean? I'm grateful to Ian Gawker for getting me the fight. These are the fights I want, you know what I mean? These are the big fights I want. Is 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 big opportunities. You know me, man. You know me well. No, I don't. I'm not looking for any easy road or any easy fights. This fight puts me well off that holiday. Actually, nice to jazz straight away. So it's a big opportunity for British boxing to control the title. So it gives me European ranking. So yeah, it's it's massive, really, but you know. Is it mad to think like in one win possibly, or like if you get the win, you're a European ranked when I get fighter? Win. Or, well, yeah, <laughs> you're a European ranked fighter, like. Oh, unbelievable, but look, it's like. This is like people that I never win a fight, so, mm. so it's it's huge for me. But this is the biggest opportunity in my life, but you know what I mean? That's that's how I'm looking at it, man. It is the biggest opportunity in my life. And, and like I said, big thanks to Ian Gotham for getting me. Thanks for getting for giving me the opportunity. And uh, I, I can't wait for it. I'm, I've never been as excited. I've never trained as hard. To be honest, when the last fight went through, I kind of I stayed in the gym. I had a feeling something would come along. You know what I mean? And Ian had said, "Look, stay in the gym, don't." Because like I, me, I'm, I'm my biggest fear. I fall in, I can fall into a lazy trap. Mm. I kind of stop training as hard. And, Kind of, you know, ah, I'll train tomorrow or I'm gonna have this seven I'm gonna have this seven bowl of cereal today, you know what I mean? I'm wondering why I get so heavy in between camps. <laughs> we actually went on holiday, me and my wife, my kids the next night after the, the fight that I was supposed to have with them. So I was actually on holiday my first day in rank and said, look, I could have been fighting after hey, what was the jet hundred percent that's called like so it's a great opportunity and uh, and I will be I will be taking up well crap for the arms. And that's mad, it's kinda of just shows where boxing is like that dumb fight falls through and around that for I think every boxer there was like I know you're on instant depression, a real thing, but you had a feeling something was going to come along. Like, uh, yeah, look, man, like I've said it from day one, God is good, man, you know what I mean? And it's given me, it's given me massive opportunities. But, like, boxing is a shark, yeah, man, you know what I mean? I'm not getting any younger, like, so I'm not going to, I don't have the time to fall out of camp for two months and then get back in shape mm. and get back fit and then have a fight three months later. It's just, it's just I don't want to do that again, man, so I just stayed in shape, stayed in the gym, you know? But boxing were you deflated after that? Like, yeah, like, massively, yeah. but of course I was. We all were. I had a couple of big Spanish bills that fell through and, I was looking forward to that fight, winning that and then going on for another big fight. Boxing is a tough game, man. It's all the fighters, it's all the fighters in, in Ireland, man. But it's, it's a tough game, man. You know what I mean? I've seen someone say it the other day, and it was hit the nail in the head. It's a great sport, horrible business. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's the truth, man. Like, you don't see it. Obviously, you know, and people know it, but it's, it's a tough game. And I'm not talking about the training or the fighting. Like, I'm talking about dealing with actually boxing itself. Mentally, it's very hard on the fighters. Fight falling through. Camps that you're paying for their own pocket, losing sponsorship deals, you know, stuff like that. It's very fucking hard, man. Do you know what I mean? Wife and kids to provide for, like, so not fighting, we don't get paid. And, you know, it's, it's a hard game, man. But, like, look. That makes title wins all the better, then, doesn't it? Yeah, like, and I'm not a winner, I'm not a mourner. Mm. You work hard and you get the rewards, you know what I mean? That's one thing that I know about life. And So I just stay in the gym, stay grafting, stay training with Sean, stay, stay sparring with the lads, you know, and and, and look at the, the opportunity came and I was able to go, yeah, let's go, no matter. And what do you make of Gettins as a fighter? Have Good fighter, man, I respect him. He seems like a nice guy. I've had a couple of back and forth messages with him. Nothing bad to say about him. He seems like, like a nice Since guy. the fight was made? Uh, once or twice, yeah. but before that, like, but like, he's like myself, I think he's a couple of losses. He just takes big fights. He's, He's fought some good guys, he's got some good wins. It's a good fight, man. It's a 50 50 fight. You know, these are the fights I'm in boxing for. Like, anyone that knows me knows, like, when I leave boxing, I'll be remembered for the fights I had, for the, mm. for the warrior mentality that I kept as a boxer. Like, not being afraid of any fights, not saying no to any fights. As long as, it, it's, as, long as it's, a, it's a meaningful fight, I'm going to say yeah, like, you know what I mean? And it puts me in, this puts me in, a, in an unbelievable position, like, so, so this is, these are the fights I want, man, you know? And that's an interesting uh, sort of viewpoint of your career I suppose as well like Jamie gets a lot of props recently for like maybe changing the game he came straight in and, yeah, he, yeah. and he took big fights but like you've taken losses and you're straight into title fights I think this is your is this your fifth title fight? fifth title fight yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I think when you retire I'm not blowing smoke around here but people will look at it and say like fair play like he, he, he knew you weren't going to be like, maybe be a world champion or no. whatever 
He just knew get no, as many of these titles as I, I can, fight who I want. At 30, man. You know exactly. I, mean? like, yes, it, I turned pro at 30 after having a crazy life. No one expected me to do anything. Mm. Only, some people said I wouldn't win a fight. You know what I mean? Here I am, 9 and 3. I've won a title. I've had four title fights. I'm about to have my fifth title fight. It gives me a European ranking. Win that fight. God already knows what fights will come after that, man. And yeah, that's yeah. how I look at this, man. That's how I look at life. I don't crib, I don't mind. Yeah, shit happens. Shit happens to me outside of boxing. Like, that would, if you told somebody they put you in a mental institution, like, you know what I mean? Life is fucking. Does that make man. you easy to deal with the defeats then? Like, it, it just, like, life has defeated me. Million, like, life has humbled me more than anything, yeah. man, you know what I mean? So, like, I take a defeat on the chin, like, even if you look back at the Craig McCarthy all the stuff that happened early, but at the end of the day, it's another last record. There's no point winning in the morning about it. We move on from it and we, and we get back in the fucking ring and we do what we do and we fight. I'm a fireman and all I know is fighting. It's all I've known since the day of that. And that's when I leave boxing, I'll be remembered for that, man. And that's what I said when I came into the game, was that I wanted to be remembered for being a fighter. So my son now, who's in, who's in Spain and in boxing, you know, like, oh, that's Graham O'Connor, son. He, he took down the best fights he could take on. Mm. That's it, man. You know what I mean? Like, my son looks at me as a hero. Like, I've already succeeded. I don't give a shit what anyone says about me. Like, or, oh, he took a last year. Who gives a fuck? Mm. You know what I mean? I get in the ring and I fight. And to me, like, that's fucking, that's, that's, that's what boxing is about. He's getting in the ring and fighting. Like, if I was the kind of fighter, me personally, that was saying no to fights and turning down fights, I'd be, I, I, I wouldn't look at myself as, as a fighter. Really. I mean, I look at myself as maybe an Instagram box or something like that. And it's just not who I am. You see Jamie, Vlad, all of us, Paddy, Edward, Jess, you know, we all, we all take the biggest fights we can, like, you know what I mean? Jamie's fighting with Brendan there, Vlad is fighting for a title soon. Paddy, Edward, and Jess have big fights coming up. Like, I think down here in Limerick, we, we, we've set a trend that, like, we don't give a fuck we fight, you know what I mean? And, that's that's how I look. I like it like that, man. You know what I mean? That's why I come across, and and, I, and I'm, I'm grateful that people look at me as that kind of fighter, you know. And we're grateful for it because we get good big fights out of it yeah. and a good bit of press just, or whatever. We're fight, like don't we? Like we're coming here, we see us out there, like. Me and Vlad are good friends, but in that ring there's no friends, like there's, yeah. there's no friends in there. Like even with Tam, supposed to fight Tam, I've not bad to say about Tam outside of boxing. He's a nice guy to speak to him regular races, but if I was to fight Tam, he's not my friend in there, like nobody's my friend in that ring. Mm. Whether you're sparring or fighting, you're not friends in there, like once you get inside that ring, man, the friendship has to leave. You know what I mean? It's 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 kill or be killed in there, like that's the way boxing is, like keep it on see it, like it's it's a serious game, like you know what I mean? You can lose your life in that boxing ring, man. You know what I mean? So yeah, you, gotta, yeah. you gotta train and prepare hard and and be ready to do whatever you need to do to get the win, and that's what I am. Yeah, I've taken a couple of L's along the way, but I'm here, about to get a European ranking, and who fucking knows after that, Johnny, you know? Can you break down that fight for us then, how you see it going, or whatever you can say about I, it? I, to be honest with you, bud, I know what I need to do to get the win. Yeah. I've watched a bit of Keon Gettins, I, I, maybe he's going to bring something else, but I don't care what he brings, I know I'm going to have enough to get the win mm. on that night, you know what I mean? I feel unbelievable, mentally I feel good. Like, I think I spoke to you before, mentally is a big battle for me more than as much as physically is, man, because mentally I can be my own worst enemy, you know what I mean? And some days I don't want to get out of bed, I don't want to go to the fucking gym, I don't want to train, I don't want to spell, I don't, I don't want to be a boxer, yeah. I don't want to be a father, I don't want to go to work, I don't, there's no... I get those days, man, where I, where I, where I feel like absolute shit, but these, they're the days, as a man, I have to say, you still have to get up and you still have to do what you have to do. And that's the path of life, that's the path to being a man, in my eyes, that's yeah. the path to being a fighter. Is no matter how you're feeling, no matter what's going on, you have to get up and do it. So in my eyes, no matter what Gettins brings, I have to do what I've been preparing to do for the last... So now, you have that mental battle yeah, one yeah. Net for this once camp, is that, it? Yeah, once I have that mental battle one, that's my biggest battle. Yeah. You could hit me with an iron bar, I will keep from an actual, like, you know what I mean? You, everyone knows that about me, like, but it's up here as my biggest battle, but you know what I mean? That's for me personally, I don't know any other fighter sees it, but for me, this is the biggest battle I have to deal with, but, you know? As, as a fighter, as a father, as a husband, as a friend, mm. this is my biggest battle every fucking day. Like I fight these demons, like every single day, and, and like once I that battle beaten, which I do. How do you beat them? Like have you learned tools? Or I, I, I have tools. No, that, that, that. see you later, Vlad. <laughs> you prick. <laughs> I have, I have. You know, I, 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 I'm able to deal with a lot better now than I did a couple of years ago. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, I think a couple of years ago I was able to deal with. That's why I went in the jail. That's why I turned to drinking drugs. So I wasn't able to deal with them. Whereas today I'm able to deal with them a lot more. You know what I mean? And I have good people around me. I have my wife. I have you know my kids. I have good circle of friends. And, you know, it's a lot easier for me to deal with now, but it's still very hard, man. I mean, life is. And do you find other boxers in a, a similar? I don't know, that, man. Yeah? I, I don't know. So, I, I think so, man. I think boxers, you know, the lads that I know, like my friends, boxers on my team, like, you know. It's a tough game, man. I think to be involved in this game, you have to be some bit warped. You do, you? I swear to God, man, you have to be some bit warped to be to be in a, as a boxer, man. Because it's a very tough game, man. It's a very, very tough game, and that's that's without taking the punches. I think all, any fighter will tell you like the training and the boxing is the easiest path. You know what I mean? It's, it's dealing with the boxing. It's dealing with the with the uh, with the internal battle. Like you know what I mean? It's the internal battle that, that I find hard to deal with sometimes as a boxer, as a human, as a fucking father, as a as a as you know. Am I doing it right? Am I doing okay? Am I doing good? Am I? That's the biggest battle I have, man. It's internally. You know what I mean? And once I have that battle, once I have that battle down, everything else is fucking easy, man. I swear, everything. So, I don't mean easy. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Like, 
I'm that eternal battle sorted for myself. Then everything else falls into place. I'm, I, nothing else bothers me. Like I'll get in the ring there with King Kong. If, oh, mm. you know, I mean, I'll get in there. I'll fight anybody once I have this sorted. You know, if I, if I have if I have the internal link sorted, man, I'm I'm good to go. Like you know. And, and just finally, then, and appreciate all that, and appreciate the honesty. But well, I know King Kong isn't in the European rankings, but... <laughs> well, like, if he is, <laughs> if you are, King Kong, I'm coming, man. Well, have you allowed yourself to look forward a little bit? Like um, I haven't, because no. I've made that mistake before with a couple of fights, especially when I fought Jay Kareem. When I fought Jay Kareem that time, I looked completely past him, and yeah. I thought, ah, walking well, the park, because I'd, I'd handle him okay and sparring. It didn't go that way. It was a tough, tough night, very mm. tough fight, and because I completely looked past him, and I thought, oh, you're walking the park, and I nearly made a mistake, and he nearly beat me. That's, that's the truth. That was, that was, that was a massive learning lesson for me as a boxer, so no, I'm not looking at any past him, but I am very excited because I'm a 36 year old fighter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? People always say to you, oh, wait, are you gonna pack it in? No, I'm not gonna pack it in. I'll pack it in when I fucking feel like packing it in. I feel fresh, I feel great. I'm in here spam with, with all these guys. Like, I'm in the gym here with, with Vladimir Blowski, Edward Donovan, Paddy Donovan, Jason Hartley, Jamie Morrissey, and Kean Hederman, and, and Lee Boxer. We all spam together. I'm hanging with these guys. The day when I can't hang with these boys and I can't and I can't spam with these boys, then I know it's time to go. But right now I'm fucking loving spam with the boys, I'm loving it. I'm loving being in the gym, you know, I'm able to train with these boys, I keep it down, you know, so once I'm still able to rap but I'm still able to train two or three times a day, I'm good. Look, I appreciate it. Thank I'm good Johnny. to have you around still, Jack. Thanks, Johnny. Great, okay, thanks.